Hi, ladies. How are you this morning? Hi, Bonnie. We're good. How are you? I I'm great. Oh, my God. I've been through this entire series. <laughs> I couldn't stop. I and, okay. And, and I say this with all due respect and all love in my heart. This show is insane. It is absolutely nuts. It is so unhinged. It's ridiculous. It's unhinged and grounded at the same time, though. Right? Yeah, right. I have to say. So we have to start with you. Uh, first off, I got to know, are you a true crime gal? Like, are you into this stuff? I am a true crime girly for sure. I mean, who isn't at this point? I my first introduction to true crime was definitely season one of Serial. Yeah. And then branched off into Root of Evil to live and die in LA. I love it. I am I really related a lot to Kaylee's character when I first read the script because I am the person with the headphones in doing chores, doing work, and listening to true crime. Yeah, for sure. And what about you, Priscilla? Are you into it or was it something like you just couldn't resist <laughs> on many levels? I, I I am 1000% into true crime. I also have my, my podcast that I listen to. Um, there's a new episode of, of um, Serial that just came out that I'm excited to listen to. And I love Sword and Scale. Crime Junkie mm -hmm. is my all time favorite, my favorite murder. I mean, I could go on and on. So yeah. I, I listen to this more than I listen to music or watch shows, to be honest. Yeah, I know. It's it's very addictive, as I said, as the show is, because you just, after each episode, you're like, I got to keep going. I got to keep watching. What's going to happen? And Leanne, I want to ask you first, I mean, you know, look, both of your characters are kind of in their own way, disruptors in a way. Like they're, they're I don't want to give anything away because I what I loved watching this was that I went into it not knowing a thing, which is, I think, the best way. But Leanna, for you to play this, uh, well, we can say you you play Kaylee Coco's uh, on the show, her sister. Uh, there's mm -hmm. some dynamic. Tell us a little bit about her. Yeah, you know, I, I it was really fun to play Tori because there are obviously some, some similarities between Ava and Tori, but also yeah. uh, Tori is surprisingly grounded for her age. And yeah. even though she's, you know, and very, very much of an explorative phase in life and kind of wild and free. She also has a really good head on her shoulders and knows right from wrong and causes Nathan and Ava to very much question their choices throughout the series. Yeah, absolutely. And Priscilla, I'm telling you, Ruby is a gift of a role. Like what a roller coaster. <laughs> like she's insane. Oh my God. I mean, you she end there, absolutely. but you're like, what's going on with this gal? I mean, you must have had truly way too much fun playing her. I had so much fun playing her. This is 1000% my favorite character that I've ever played. There's so many layers to her. So that was yes. so much fun to explore. And when I first went out for the project, I had no idea that she was going to go through everything that she went through. All that I knew was that she was a wealthy housewife who likes yeah. to party. Um, and I won't give too much away, but there's definitely more to her than that. Yeah, especially her special skill, which we won't discuss, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> which she's very proud of. <laughs> she is very, very proud of said um, special skill. Yes. Yeah. We'll let, we'll, we'll let everybody talk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so hilarious. Okay, we have to talk about working with um, Chris and Haley, but of course, I mean, Haley was pregnant through this entire thing, which was written into the series. She's a dynamo, but what I love so much about her, being, I've met her, I've interviewed her, she's really, truly, what you see is what you get. She's one of the nicest get person people around, for sure. But her, the expressions in her face, you know, I thought she was a loon in the flight attendant. This just takes it to a whole new level. You know, I, I want to hear from you first, Leanna, about playing opposite her, what it was like to work with her. You know, it, I would think that the bond is real for sure. Oh, absolutely. I honestly think that's why, uh, aside from her like massive amount of talent, it's her, it's who she is as a person that has gotten her so far in this industry. Mm -hmm. Um, she's just a joy to work with. I mean, the moment you walk on any of her sets, you, you feel like you're at home and a part of her family. It was so effortless to play her sister. Yeah. And Priscilla, about you, like, what do you, what do you glean from working with, with her? 
Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again until the end of time, but she's just a comedic genius and working with her was like taking a master class in acting. You know, I was just learning every single day from her. Um, one, how to be a better actor, but two, just how to have fun on set. Don't take yourself so seriously. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Um, and she's really good about creating a fun and still professional environment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and lastly, we have to talk about our serial killer uh, who is played by Tom Bateman. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, yeah, good looking, the whole thing. But we're rooting for him in a in a weird, sick way. I mean, uh, Leanne, I don't want to, you know, like I said, this, this series could go on to a season two and there's a great cliffhanger. Uh, did you get lost in his eyes and kind of forget that he's playing a creepy serial killer who's a lunatic? Yes, a little bit. It is, you know, I had a similar situation reading the script. I was like, why am I rooting for the success of this guy's actions? This is so crazy. Um, and then also, you know, he's easy on the eyes. He's yeah. he's a nice person to look at and work across from, that's for sure. And he's a lovely person. Tom is so talented and he's just, we just had such a good time on set. Yeah. And so to wrap up. Yeah, yeah, and wrap it up, Priscilla. Uh, so, what do we learn from uh, true crime serials? Like, what, what, you know, what, what's the best thing we can learn from them? <laughs> Not to take them too seriously, or I don't know what. Um, like an actual thing to learn. Yeah. An actual thing, I would say. The, the most important thing I, I've ever learned is don't let them take you to the second location. That's the biggest oh. tip that I. Yeah. That yeah. I I have to say it is quite scary, like listening to some of these and how people really get really do fall prey. I mean, on a serious note, it's very frightening. Absolutely. And the show, it, it is a it is a dark comedy and it's funny, but it we do take that very seriously as well. So people can watch it and have fun, but it's also very it can be quite educational as well, just like all the podcasts can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, congratulations, ladies. Like I said, this series is uh, fantastic. It is actually coming here to Canada in the fall, but we we have other outlets that so we're going to get it on. But we are really looking forward to it. Um, as Canadians, again, I was lucky to watch it first, so I'm so happy. So please bring me another season, okay? Nice to chat with you both. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. Oh, of course. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, we are clear.